All right, uh, this video is honorable mentions that uh, didn't make it into my top 10, but uh, I still want to talk about them because they're still fantastic figures and vehicles. And uh, some, the reason they didn't make my top 10 is either uh, they just missed the mark or they're just too pricey for me to even add that into the list. So here are a bunch of them. And uh, these are in no particular orders, so uh, I'm just gonna go off here. First one is this uh, Bat Cycle from uh, Macron Toys. I think Macron Toys is doing a fantastic job with the DC line, uh, giving us a lot of uh, vehicles. Uh, currently, I think there are two bikes so far that we have gotten, and uh, hopefully, we'll, oh yeah, we're definitely gonna get one more uh, from the movie, and uh, hopefully we'll get more. Uh, uh, I know they're doing uh, oh, that that monstrosity of a um, bat uh, uh, a four wheeler or something or, or that whatever that Tonka truck kind of thing. Uh, but uh, I'm just happy that the McFarlane is doing a lot of stuff for, for the DC universe uh, since we got those uh, Justice League. Uh, those aren't that great. I mean, it's sculpt sculpting wise, they aren't perfect. But uh, the fact that uh, we got a lot of them, and uh, even the villains, and uh, and some of these obscure stuff as uh, vehicles, and uh, even different Batmans and other characters, uh, Gorilla Grodd, and uh, a lot of the Spawn stuff, and all that other stuff. I mean, they're doing fantastic with what they're doing, and uh, I'm happy they're doing that. And uh, I, I'm not gonna buy all of them, but. Uh, I'm just gonna pick and choose, but they are releasing a lot of stuff though, so I definitely have to pick and choose. And uh, some of these are just fantastic things, uh, like this uh, Bat Psycho vehicle. It, it looks great. I mean, I have not read the comics, so I'm not sure which comic this came out of, but the design of this vehicle is really, really good looking, and uh, it reminiscent uh, of that um, of that upcoming movie from. Uh, 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 from the Flash movie, uh, where Batman is riding a somewhat of a similar Bat Psycho to this one, so uh, this looks great. Uh, it's it's affordable. It's about what thirty. I think this is only thirty dollars, uh, thirty or forty. I'm not quite sure, but still, it's 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 got new uh, real rubber tires and uh, it rolls perfectly and I love motorcycles so it's gonna look fantastic with the Batman on it and that's why this I have to mention because it's just something that a lot of companies aren't willing to do because they're worried that it's not gonna sell but uh, McFarlane uh, they've been doing a lot of uh, a lot of stuff and a lot of different character expanding their line to where characters aren't even the main stuff and they're still producing them. I'm not sure whether they're making any money off of those, but I'm glad they're making them so people like us collectors can buy them. And since I'm already on the topic of my fun toys, here's another one from them, which I am very happy to have in my collection. This is um, an exclusive to uh, GameStop. Uh, I'm not sure whether this guy is still available, but uh, when I saw it online, I have to have it. And uh, this is based on the Killing Joke uh, Joker. And uh, you can see he has his trench coat on and the camera, even though the camera is a little big, I think, for this uh, Joker. But uh, still, uh, I'm happy to have this. And uh, trench coat uh, does limit his range motion quite a bit. Mm. But uh, I'm happy because it captures that killing joke look of uh, the Joker, and um, you can see they painted his eyes. Uh, he gave him, they gave him a raccoon eyes, and you can barely see anything here except for the two pupil. So you can see two white dots there, which gives it that uh, ominous uh, look to the Joker. And uh, uh, it's fantastic. I am very impressed with this Joker that uh, McFarlane created. I mean, not created, uh, sculpted. And next figure I want to talk about is this uh, Endgame uh, Iron Man Mark 85. Uh, that's supposed to represent the battle between him and uh, Thanos. 
uh, it came. It, it's a two pack that comes with uh, Thanos. Uh, it's about damage of both of them, and uh, this head scope. Look at that, Robert Downey Jr. head scope is fantastic. Came with two, one with uh, bow damage, one without, and then Thanos uh, came with a bunch of stuff too. I can't remember what he came with, but uh, more interested in the Iron Man. And uh, even though the head is a little bit big. Uh, for this body, but still, I mean, articulation-wise, these figures are great. Uh, this set was uh, pretty easy to find. It wasn't really exclusive to anywhere, so uh, I think it was uh, was available towards I think it was uh, September, September. Yeah, I think it was August, September is when they first came out. And uh, the Infinity Saga line, I think. All the Infinity Saga stuff are great. Uh, they all have fantastic head sculpts. And uh, all the characters are great. And uh, range of motion, I mean, it is what you can expect from Hasbro. Uh, but uh, sculpting, they definitely went under the notch. Uh, went up another notch uh, with the sculpting. Uh, yeah, so I am... I am very happy to have these uh, Infinity Saga figures from uh, Hasbro. And next up, we have these uh, DC collectible, DC collectibles, uh, uh, deceased figures. And um, I know uh, DC collectibles is ending the line with, um, with toys, I believe. And uh, McFarn McFarn toys is taking over, so. Uh, I was hoping that uh, they would take over and create more characters uh, from this disease line. Uh, currently, um, the ones that are out is uh, Aquaman, Green Lantern, Batman, and Joker. Those are the only four we have so far from that line. But uh, I think uh, McFarlane Toys uh, is uh, is uh, releasing a few others. Um, uh, they're up on pre-orders right now. I think the Superman, the Supergirl and Harley Quinn and was there one other one? I can't remember I don't remember but those are the three I can remember that are uh, coming out uh, next year 2022 and it's up on pre-order pre-orders right now so those are the ones I plan on getting and I really like this line because uh, of the whole zombie like type of characters like uh, I really like those kind of characters uh, and that's why I really enjoy um, those uh, DC collectible ones uh, from the from the what are the uh, what was that line oh god I can't remember anymore the the one with the black lantern and all that stuff I, I forgot what that what that series is called but uh, anyway those uh, that that line came out with a lot of zombie uh, characters. I think the whole, the main seven Justice League characters were all in zombie format, so I like that a lot. Uh, they're all black, black lanterns, so yeah, though that that was a great line, and uh, I'm happy to see these disease figures are continuing on, and hopefully we'll get even more after this uh, other pre-order wave. And lastly, the one I want to talk about is. Oh no, actually, this is not the last one. I have another one after this. Uh, this is uh, ten, uh, 1,000 Toys uh, Master Chief from Halo Infinite. Uh, last year, I would have given uh, that Master Chief a disappointing figure of 2020. But uh, this year is an honorable mention because they actually did a good job with this one. Um, the previous version was the... Uh, original Master Chief uh, and that one proportion wise was so off uh, the the um, the wrist pegs were 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 really shallow so hands were falling off so easily I hated that figure I ended up uh, selling it and um, the thighs on that other Master Chief that was uh, based on Halo 1 uh, that Master Chief uh, the thighs were like super rounded and uh, it just looks weird it looks very feminine to me and uh, it didn't look good at all proportion wise yeah not good at all and like i said i ended up selling it because i didn't like it and uh this one i got it because proportion wise is nice and detailing on it is good and they fixed the wrist joint where it's nice and tight now and the whole figure is just a uh, it's a it's a perfect figure but the price 
of this figure is quite expensive. It's going to set you back at least 150 I know there's a preview exclusive version as well with the red energy sword and another weapon. Another weapon. Um, that one some people might consider getting, um, but that one is going to cost you even more. I think it was like 165 or something over at uh, BBTS. Um, but this one cost me 150 and uh, it's expensive for a 6 inch figure, but once I have it in hand, I'm happy to have it because it is very articulated. Uh, joints are nice and tight and it doesn't feel it doesn't feel flimsy at all like the um, or, or doesn't feel cheap like the jazzware. but uh, this one it's very impressive. Uh, not a whole lot of weight. I mean there's uh, these are this is just a plastic figure, but uh, built wide is solid joints are nice and tight and that's why it's on my honorable mentions. And lastly the ones I want to talk about are these uh, Haya toys and uh, the Predator stuff. Uh, these are 118 scale so they're pretty tiny. Uh, they are a bit fragile uh, so be careful with the joints. Uh, you do want to be careful when you're turning them. Make sure they are free before you force them into a specific pose otherwise you might end up breaking them. But uh, still detailing on these are fantastic. Uh, I think I review all three at once and uh, they are really good figures and uh, the the alien stuff, the xenomorph, not so much. Uh, I don't like the joints, they're kind of loosey-goosey. But with the predators, I think they did a fantastic job. Uh, joints and knights, uh, they aren't like super tight or anything but uh, they aren't loosey-goosey like the, the aliens. And uh, there are a lot of preds coming out, I think, uh, uh, let's see, this set from AVP just came out not too long ago and I think the um, Predators are coming out pretty soon. The uh, the Berserker, jo uh, the Berserker, um, the Falconer and the uh, Tracker, those three are coming out soon and uh, I have them on pre-order so once I get them I'll definitely review them and the Hounds as well and um, I think there are the Tempo Guards and all that stuff from AVP are out as well. Those are also really good. And uh, yeah, that's why I want to mention them because uh, they're just the sculpting on these are really good for something that small too. These are 118 scale, so they're about four, four and a half inches because they, they are preds. They're supposed to be a little bit bigger than human size. Um, but uh, sculpting on these are really, really good. And paint job on it is good too. There's no, uh, I mean, there's bleeds here and there but not to the point where you you could really notice it um like maybe on the dreads some of them you might see a little hint of uh, paint bleeds here and there but uh, sculpting and the paint job on these and the weathering they added it's really good i i, I just can't say enough about these figures from a higher toys there they're, they're 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 really good and um other ones that came out uh there's a at 209 they came out from Robocop and then the Robocop figures themselves they aren't the greatest but they're okay I still got them because uh, I like Robocop and uh, there are other franchises uh, they they acquired and uh, I'm happy to see what else they, they they're going they're going to produce in the upcoming year so there you have it there's here are all the figures uh, from my honorable mentions for 2021 and uh, yeah hopefully we'll get more figures this upcoming year and uh, happy new year to everyone